I love a good road trip. There's something so adventurous about four wheels rolling over the asphalt as you leave the familiar to brand new surroundings. But my road warrior spirit wasn't always appreciated by my children. In fact, every mile that we rolled on, there was that question from the back seat. Are we there yet? This question misses any appreciation for the sights and scenery outside the car's windows. On one such road trip with that familiar question being sounded from the back seat, we came across the hills outside Palm Desert, California, which are homes to dozens of windmills. Well, that's what we call them. They are used to harness the wind and make power for the city. As we came upon these hills, I looked over my shoulder and announced to my children to look up. And for that moment, my kids were fascinated to gaze upon the twirling blades of these massive windmills on the hills. There was only one problem. Those hills and windmills only last a mere five minutes at 65 miles per hour. And as soon as we passed them, the chorus of complaint and the questioning began again. It's at that point that I begin to tell my children to be patient. I ask them to trust and believe me that when we get there, it's gonna be so worth it. I explain that this place is gonna be so exciting and totally worth this wait. But I must admit that in this road trip of life, I am often like my children. I'm buckled into my seat as the Heavenly Father leads me to new destinations. And just as I would tell my children to sit back and enjoy the ride, so God also seems to be reminding me at times to accept the moment. And in those windmill moments when life is comfortable, entertaining, or enchanting, I certainly do love the journey. But with those windmills behind me, life in the back seat starts to get uncomfortable. And my patience is often like a three-year-old at times. So I find myself asking the Lord, are we there yet? And that's when God turns his head back slightly and says, look up. As he points off to the hill, I see the cross standing in the wind. It reminds me to hold on to faith for this journey I'm on. It reminds me of the destination ahead, which is reserved, guaranteed, and paid for through God's Son, Jesus Christ. And then God asked me to believe and trust him that this journey is going to be so worth it after all. 2 Corinthians 4 says it this way, For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. And so it is with this road trip life. The miles that unroll into many years have taught me that this journey is one to be appreciated mile by mile and moment by moment. Not every moment is wonderful, but every moment is a part of the journey which in Christ will be totally worth it in the end. This is discipleship, following Jesus, sometimes in the back seat, being changed by Jesus, and being committed to the mission of Jesus. Let's pray. Dear Lord, on this road trip of life that we are on, help us to look up. Help us to see the many things that you want to show us moment by moment, mile by mile. And as we grow impatient, would you remind us that it is going to be worth it for our destination has been secured by Jesus. And I pray that you would guarantee for us a happy spirit, a joyful spirit, a patient spirit, as we go through this road trip of life, trusting in you. It's in your son's precious and holy name we pray. Amen.